Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Thursday the 20th of May. We begin, as always, with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we don't think the same way as every Christian on every point. In fact, there are issues which we disagree on, sometimes strongly. Teach us, though, to welcome such diversity of opinion and to learn from it, rather than allowing it to become a source of division. Help us to listen to other people's point of view and to respect their convictions, even when we cannot agree. May we never forget that you died to make us one. Save us in closing our minds to others from closing our hearts to you. Amen. Amos chapter 7 This is what the Sovereign Lord showed me. He was preparing swarms of locusts after the king's share had been harvested, and just as the late crops were coming up. When they had stripped the land clean, I cried out, Sovereign Lord, forgive! How can Jacob survive? He is so small. So the Lord relented. This will not happen, the Lord said. This is what the Sovereign Lord showed me. The Sovereign Lord was calling for judgment by fire. It dried up the great deep and devoured the land. Then I cried out, Sovereign Lord, I beg you, stop. How can Jacob survive? He is so small. So the Lord relented. This will not happen either, the Sovereign Lord said. This is what he showed me. The Lord was standing by a wall that had been built true to plumb, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord asked me, What do you see, Amos? A plumb line, I replied. Then the Lord said, Look, I am setting a plumb line among my people Israel. I will spare them no longer. The high places of Isaac will be destroyed, and the sanctuaries of Israel will be ruined. With my sword I will rise against the house of Jeroboam. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent a message to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos is raising a conspiracy against you in the very heart of Israel. The land cannot bear all his words, for this is what Amos is saying. Jeroboam will die by the sword, and Israel will surely go into exile, away from their native land. Then Amaziah said to Amos, Get out, you seer. Go back to the land of Judah. Earn your bread there and do your prophesying there. Don't prophesy any more of Bethel, because this is the king's sanctuary and the temple of the kingdom. Amos answered Amaziah, I was neither a prophet nor the son of a prophet, but I was a shepherd, and I also took care of sycamore fig trees. But the Lord took me from tending the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. Now then, hear the word of the Lord. You say, Do not prophesy against Israel, and stop preaching against the descendants of Isaac. Therefore this is what the Lord says. Your wife will become a prostitute in the city, and your sons and daughters will fall by the sword. Your land will be measured and divided up, and you yourself will die in a pagan country. And Israel will surely go into exile, away from their native land. We celebrate the truth that is revealed to us through the words of Holy Scripture now, as we sing together, From the breaking of the dawn to the setting of the sun, I will stand on every promise of your word. From the breaking of the dawn to the setting of the sun, I will stand on every promise of your word. Words of power strong to say that will never pass away. I will stand every promise of your word for 
your covenant is sure, and on this I am secure. I can stand on every promise of your word. When I stumble and I sin, condemnation pressing in, I will stand on every promise of your word. You are faithful to forgive that in freedom I might live. So I stand on every promise of your Psalm 135 Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, you servants of the Lord, you who minister in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praise to His name, for that is pleasant. For the Lord has chosen Jacob to be His own, Israel to be His treasured possession. I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is greater than all gods. 
The Lord does whatever pleases him in the heavens and on the earth, in the seas and all their depths. He makes clouds rise from the ends of the earth. He sends lightning with the rain and brings out the wind from his storehouses. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Forgive us, Lord, for eroding the message of the gospel, for blunting its challenge on the anvil of expediency, self-interest and complacency. We are often swift to compromise when staying faithful involves the prospect of cost. We rebel when your way runs contrary to our own. We close our minds to what upsets the status quo. We resist your call when it poses awkward questions that we'd rather not face. Teach us to set our hearts on things of heaven rather than those of earth. To acknowledge you as Lord, not only with our lips, but also with our lives. Amen. Come back.